Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and we are on site here at Bethlehem Baptist Church because we're going to be using a product that I have been talking about for a minute and <laughs> kept promising to do a video about it, but just never had an opportunity to do it. And we might as well talk about it now while we're setting it up. And that is the Ubiquity Unify Display Cast. This is Ubiquity's take on digital signage. Um, Pretty much you can hook this up to any TV. It is PoE powered and it could be powered over a USB. And the idea is here in Bethlehem Baptist Church, we are hanging an entrance television. And this is gonna be meant to be kind of like a bulletin board um, that can show announcements. It can do any of the stuff that any digital signage could be. And it is very, very straightforward. So let me open it up here. I did an unboxing and it all depends on how this turns out. I might cut over to that, but it's really straightforward. Oh, it flies out the box. And it's, it looks like the viewport. It's kind of in the same shape of this, but again, this one is USB powered. It has a PoE in. Um, and it has HDMI out. There is no pass through or anything like that, like the display port would have. Now they do have two versions of this. This is the standard. They do have a pro version and the pro version, I believe can actually um, allow it to also show Unify Protect on it. This one is only for digital signage. Inside the box, you get a mount that goes with the TV. You got some other plugs, some other um, mounting screws. Um, I believe you have, it comes with a USB cable. Um, well, actually it does come with a USB plug and it comes with an HDMI cable, but I already have that on the TV. So let me show you here and we'll get it all provisioned. And I need to make the holes for the mounting bracket that it has right here. And that mounting bracket is right here. So it's going to sit behind this TV and I already have a, um, HDMI cable that's going to be connected here for, um, USB um, HDMI 2 so we'll mount this but let's go ahead and get this connected here all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this set up here I will come back behind here and put the mounts behind the TV so it'll be in this permanent position but we're gonna go ahead and hook this up to the HDMI out and I have this connected to a PoE switch so it should provide power for the device make sure it gets lit up here and let's switch over to input number two and there it is it's powering up right now so let's go ahead and go over to the computer and we'll log into unify to see what all of this looks like all righty folks we are here logged in and if we go here to our Unify devices, we need to make sure this is coming on. And I think we may need to reset it. Cause let's see, if we go to our layout, there's our switches. We are connected here. Let's see, here's the entrance display. And I'm wondering why it's not showing up yet. All right, so let's go here to the connect app, which I do have um, on. Okay, it's showing here, that's strange. I don't know why it's not showing in the Unified Network app. Um, anyway, let's go in here and you can set up automations, you can upload content, all this other stuff. And you can have a bunch of these to where you can have these and you set up a presentation and you match the presentation to the device. So, you know, we can set the volume because it does send volume over everything as well. You can create groups, give it a name, I already named it, the entrance display. Um, you can change the, the layout if you want to turn it sideways and you can put it in portrait mode. Um, really cool. Um, automatically control the display cache. You can turn it on and off, always leave it on, disable the automated controls, any of those. I'm going to keep it on, on and off. And what mode do you want it? Do you want it to show media? Do you want it to show YouTube? That is in beta, I believe, that I have access to. Um, and that's mainly the settings of the device. Now, inside of here, you can set automation. So if you created an automation, you can schedule it to a certain time, a certain day. So say this is gonna be for church services and hey, if nobody's gonna be here, there's no point in going through doing announcements or anything. So this can set this up as a schedule to say play 
um, your announcements or whatever on Sunday mornings starting at 7 a.m. before anybody comes in here and loop it through. And you can set up multiple schedules. So you have different things going on during the day. You could set up something like that. Um, I'm not going to set that up right now. Um, but we are going to come here to our layouts and how do you want everything to be? You can set it up as a layout with certain times and all this other stuff. Um, almost make it look almost like a restaurant billboard. You could do something like that. You could put it as a playlist or you could just put it and upload just regular media to it. I think I'm going to do that one because that's what I have access to load something right now. Let's go ahead and upload some stuff from presenter. So I had to find out where the path was. So let's upload both of these. Now this one, this one does not support 4k footage. So you could upload 4k footage, but it will say that you can't play it. So we can um, create a new playlist and let's just make one of these and we'll call it, you know, just call it test. Um, we can do slide transitions. You could add some background music to it. We're going to add our slides. We're just going to add both of these graphics to it. Click OK. See, this one has audio. I'm surprised it does. It's probably just blank audio, but I'm not going to do that. So that is it. We'll create it. And now we need to assign what that's going to go to. So we come in here. What are we going to play? And display mode is media. We're going to assign content. We are going to assign the playlist we just made test assign. It's there and that should be it. So if we've done everything right, if we come over here to the system, so if we've done everything right and we come over here to the system here, and there we go, there's our display. And again, if we were doing time or anything like that, it can show. So let's do the same thing, but let's add a timer and a date. You could even, I think you can even include weather or something like that. So let's go back over here and we're going to go back to my media and we're going to make a new layout with this. So what is our layer, our content layer, um, add content. We are going to put my media. We're going to use the playlist that will be our background. And again, you can do different layers. If you don't want the media to take up the whole screen, you can do a little ticker at the bottom if you want it to. So we did that, got that done. And now we're going to add a clock and let's put that in the upper, no, let's do it in the bottom corner right there. You can change the background. Do you want it in 24 hour time? No, nah, we're not military. So we're going to just do AM and PM here. We're getting ready to go right into noon. Um, you can change the rotation. You can change the size. That is fine. Now, what else can we add on here? Um, I thought it would add weather. I guess it can't right now. That would be good if you could. So. I'm not sure where that is. You could also add stock images and things like that, but let's go ahead and just create that. And we didn't give it a name. Let's rename it to um, test layout. All right. So now let's go back to our display and we want to change the assignment of that. So instead of media, we want to unassign this content. We're going to assign and we're going to assign that layout here. So now we have our clock and I wish I would have put some more images on here um, to play around with it. But, you know, you get the gist of it. All right. We could start restart the computer. I mean, restart the display cast if need be. So the beautiful thing of this, since it's the unified one, if you have an account, you can log in and you don't have to physically be here and it'll be on the network and it can be done. So just that easily. See, that is our new layout that shows the time. Um, I would, I'm sure you should be able to load some type of um, XML uh, um, feed or something like that to produce something else. But there you go. Again, I wish 
is really straightforward. Not really much to the whole thing, but I do like the fact um, that it does give an option and puts everything together. I used to use different other ones um, for digital signage, which worked great, but then it started adding in cost. Now, I'm not going to lie. Um, those, the, the display casts are starting at $199, and then the 4K version and the Pro version goes for like $279. So yeah, that might sound pricey, but some of the other ones, they have a monthly fee. So after a monthly fee, sooner or later, that would have you would have paid for one of those. Yes, it's a lot up front, but it's yours. And you can put whatever cost, whatever content that you want. There's no monthly fee. You can add as many as you want, as many devices as you got compared to other services that I found. So let me know if you have any other questions. Link is down below um, to get one of these. It's going to be directly from Ubiquity's website or um, from b &H Photo. That's mainly a distributor, at least here on the East Coast that I've used that they have them as well too. Let me know whatever stuff you wanna play with or wanna know about this. I still have some access to this because while we're doing the cameras, I'll still have a little bit of access um, to do some of these things. And then especially when I train them how to use it. But that's really it. The Unify Display Cast, great digital signage that you can add to your Unify network setup if you have something and just one more thing in Unified that can be done in one place instead of having multiple systems all over. So um, that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate the like, consider subscribing, hit that bell, that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later.